Hello, this is Ravik from Technicia CAD. Today we are going to work on cavity and core part, how to extract them from existing component, right? So we are starting with a component and we have already designed a component somewhere. We are opening that. This is a part, bottle cap. Open this. And now you can see there, this is a solid component we have. And we can see the features here, which we have used for making this component. This is one sketch. We have make an extrusion there. Simply, then we have make one draft here because it is mandatory to make a core and cavity component. So just go for make a, make a current feature. Okay. Then after that, Go for second extrusion, then go for a radial part. We have applied some filleting there, and now we can see the shell. So, here we have got the shell component. So this is a cap component which is made up of plastic, and we are applying the component material from here. Tools. And here we have materials, assign material. Go for some uh, means material. You can give plastic ABS or any other PC component if you want. You can give PC also, but we are working on ABS here. Just go for selecting the component body and apply. So material has been applied here. Now we are going to work on scaling a body. Next step will be scaling a body. So we are adding a uh, shrinkage value to this component because in whenever we are working on plastic component we have to assign some shrinkage value so here I am assigning 1.5 percent of shrinkage value to the existing component so we are going to work on insert here offset and scale component will be available I'm giving scaling a body and here already we have assigned a uh, assigned a uniform scaling which is 1.015 that is 1.5% 1, 1. to the existing value and here I am just selecting this body and done. So body has been scaled up. You can see that has been added to here. Scaled body. Now we are going to work on the next section. Here we have the next feature which is called extracting a geometry. So I'm just extracting its upper surface, but before extracting surface, you have to go for the next com next feature which is analysis and here mold part validation. Go for check regions, calculate the body, go for face. Here we have to put some draft. So I'm just putting a draft of one. That is a draft angle limit. Faces will be colored. Region. I'm just applying a region here. And you'll see. You'll see a parting line there. Here. Cavity extraction will be visible now. This is a core cavity section. Cavity has been transparent. Now cavity has been visible. apply now you can see core part and cavity part has been given a different color so now I'm going to use the next command the next command here is insert then go for the command extract geometry pick the external surface of this one two three four five and six here uncheck the box hide original and click OK now hide the solid geometry
hide the solid geometry whole surfaces you are ha now having here go for combine use sieve part 1 2 3 4 5 6 and make okay so now all the surfaces has been sewed up now next feature will be making an n-sided surface to close it up go for mesh surface and here you will see n-sided surface pick the boundary of the surface and you will see the part has been covered with a new surface just click OK and now you'll see there you have to use the command trim and extend sheet go for ext I mean, you go for uh, checking the edges and give the value I'm giving the value around 5 millimeter we can give 10 10 will be preferred second third fourth and done now after that go for trimming the surface so just go for the command trim sheet use the sheet this is the target sheet and that is a body object and pick ok you will see the object has been cut up like this now make a sieve again one two done Now surface has been sewed up. Now use the key F8 to make it make it normal to view. And now you have to use the command here. You will see the feature electrode design. Just make it on and you will see this bar. This is the electrode design bar. And here you will see the option which is create box. Click on this and select select this area the part area and you will see it will be close up from the edges now you you can extend this just click on the edge and you can give the external value edge um, external value and the value I'm giving is 10 so it will be like this if you want some lesser so go for 5 this is a safe value I'm giving 5 from all sides then after that rotate this part and you will see the bottom area you can assign the thickness to this also I'm giving the value again 5 it can be you know depend on the size of the component so next will be this one and assign the same value or give some more I'm giving 10 just go for 10 or 20 click OK now you'll see the box has been created now the, just split this part go for insert trim then split body split this box with reference to this face and you will see the body will be split up in two parts you will see if I am hiding this surface just go for control B for hiding the surface and click OK then after that again go for control B and hide this one so you can see you have got your cavity area you have got your cavity area you can simply give the color to this just go for the control J pick this surface body okay give the color to surface I'm giving the surface is yellow color so just go for transparency and you can reduce this so you can see this is the cavity area you have got and the next one control shift B for remaining area and just hide this surface and you will see the solid body has been put up on this external body so I'm just giving 
uh, next command here that is called subtraction I'm going to subtract the solid body to the part body from uh, core area so just go for subtraction give the target body and give tool body and here I'm just going to keep the tool and click OK now you may simply control use use control B hide this object hide and again go for control J simply pick the body give the color the color I'm giving is blue color non translancy and you'll see if you want to change the color because it is much brighter it is not preferred just go for another color I'm giving the another color which is this one apply so you'll see there and now what I'm doing I'm just going to use control shift B I'm going to hide this one and this solid body so you will see this is the only cavity we have I want to on the core also just go for control shift B control B then use this one okay and control shift B you will see the core cavity you have here now you can simply check out the core and cavity from inside by clicking on this option which is called edit work section and the short key of this is control H click on this and you can change the orientation plane as well and you will see the offset value, value will be visible to you here this is a solid component area which we get here simply that's all for today this is our tutorial about how to create core and cavity from existing part component thank you